Hi friends, welcome to WebCham. Uh, in this video, I am going to discuss waterfall chart in Power BI. How we can create the waterfall chart? Let's understand what is waterfall chart first. So, a waterfall waterfall chart is also known as bridge chart, and even sometimes it may refer as a cascade chart. Okay, so it is a data visualization tool when you have to show the cumulative progress in the terms of positive or negative. Okay. Uh, values from a starting point to the end point, meaning the whatever will be the last value. Okay, let's say you you are going to uh, present the data by year, and you you have to show okay what is happening in each of the month. Okay, then what you can do you can use this waterfall chart, and what it will do it will shows the profit loss uh, against I mean by the month on the cumulative way. And at the end, you will see what is your total profit or loss. So in this way, uh, we can use the waterfall chart. Then we can say it is particularly useful for showing how various factor contributes to the change. Okay. Uh, such as revenue. Mostly this deals with many, this chart is used, used to represent the finance number, revenue, profit and expenses. Okay. Even, even for financial analysis, business reporting, and project management, this chart can be useful. Let's see how we can create the waterfall chart. Okay. For example, I have a sales data and I would like to present the sales data by month. So, what I can do, I can get, go to this uh, data hierarchy and from here I will select the month and all. Okay. Let me go, let me select first waterfall chart. Okay, and if I select the year, sorry, month. So what it will do, it will automatically pick it as a category, okay. If I go and if I select the sales amount, that will be picked as a value. Meaning there is something called Y axis, okay, sum of sales amount. Okay, And this is how chart will get prepared. And this shows the trend, what is happening in each of the months, the data got sorted automatically here, okay, based on uh, whatever the uh, months and all, okay, but that setting I need to change manually from that specific table. So I, what I did, I go to the calendar table and I will select the month name column, okay, where is my month name, so this is not, this is day name somewhere it is month name okay and select this month and go to this sort by column and select here month of month number of year okay if you sort the month name by this column then you will see the data in jan to december order otherwise uh, it will get sorted in ascending or descending order alphabetically that is not good way right so that's why I did that. And uh, I can see for the every month, my sales amount is increasing by some um, uh, somewhat amount. And at last, in the blue bar, it represents the total sales amount for the selected year. Okay. So what I will do, I will go and I will select the uh, year okay from a 2004 year and here you can see that we have a data for until the july month so accordingly the graph will get changed it shows false and down also uh, based on the categories okay instead of this if you in month if you consider the any other category that is also possible So until I bring something else, okay, if I go and uh, if I bring the country, let's see how it works. Yes, it works like this, okay. And anything you can use in the category, but mostly, okay, uh, when you have to show the cumulative progress by month in a year, this kind of chart or waterfall chart is going to help, okay. So that's why I selected the date even you can select the date complete date hierarchy and then you can drill down drill up as per the 
requirement okay and if i say quarter then this shows the quarterly or monthly and this shows the daily okay so this is how it works drill down and drill up works to view the data at different level and if i select the visuals there are formatting options also you can format x axis y axis legends okay if you open x axis so labels you can format i mean the values and the titles okay from y axis also there will be minimum and maximum range you can change for this plot then values uh, formatting if you want to do you can change the unit and decimal places for this from the values option then title if you want to disable uh, or uh, change you can do that also then there is something called legend so increase and decrease is a by default legend okay if you want to change the position you can change the okay and then what you can do you can uh, change the text also okay text style of this uh, whatever the legend is there then title if you want to add or change the title you can change the legend title also then uh, grid lines if you want to change change the grid lines you can do with respect to columns okay so you can change the color for increase decrease and others also okay it depends on for total also okay it's it's up to you what color you wanted to use for that purpose then data labels if you want to show the data labels you, it will show the data labels also and then if you want to change the background or plot area you can change and the general setting is remain same for all the charts okay properties title effects header icon tool tip and alternative text so these are remain same i discussed in my previous uh, chart videos so you can go and refer that okay. so th that is general setting so you can even uh, try to explore as you wish I hope you like the content of this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have a nice day.